Hi friends, welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany. Today's video is my April TBR. Okay, you know what I'm gonna say, right? I have an ambitious TBR. At this point, nobody's shocked, I'm guessing. I have a lot of books I'm gonna be reading this month. So let's go ahead and dive into them. I have my sort of regular things I'm reading, and then I have things that I'm gonna be reading for the readathon I'm hosting, Tor.comathon, which is happening for one week between April 16th and April 22nd. And I have a bunch of books that are kind of on my TBR for that. I may not read all of them, but I wanted to kind of give you guys a heads up of like what's on my radar for that week. But first let's take a look at things that I'm reading for read-alongs and book clubs and Patreon. This month our Patreon book club pick is Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. I do not have a physical copy of this, I have an audio copy, so I'm planning to listen to this one via audio. Every month my patrons get to vote on a book that we will read together for book club and discuss at the end of the month. The genres rotate for April, the genre was sci-fi and this was the book club pick. I don't actually know a ton about this other than that it's sci-fi, it's from the author of The Martian. I liked the Martian and I have heard that this book is quite good so I'm looking forward to giving it a try. I'm expecting it to be fun and action-packed. Then every month some of my higher tier patrons get to suggest and vote on a book that they want to see me vlog and this month the pick is not something that was on my TBR but I am going to give it a try. This is Hench by Natalie Zena Walscott's Walshots. I'll be honest, I'm a little nervous about this because historically I haven't done great with books that are like superhero books and this is kind of a superhero sidekick villain story from what I understand where the main character becomes a henchman to a superhero villain. The reviews are really mixed. The people who love it love it and the people who don't don't. So we'll see how I get on with this but I'm going to be reading this one for my patrons this month. Then I am part of a quarterly book club called the Blades and Bodice Rippers Book Club along with Amanda from The Naughty Librarian, Mara from Books Like Woe, and Leanna from Leanna's Library. In April we're going to be hosted over on Amanda's channel and the book that she picked for us to read is A Lady's Guide to Mischief and Mayhem by Amanda Collins. I'm very excited for this. It's been on my TBR for a while. It's supposed to be a fun historical romance that's not super steamy from what I understand, so hopefully we all enjoy it. We will be discussing it at the end of the month on Amanda's channel. I am also hosting a read-along for the Live Ship Trader series on my channel and for April we're going to be reading The Mad Ship by Robin Hobb. I'm so excited for this because I absolutely adored Ship of Magic. Cannot wait to continue on with the series. I hear that this book is even better so I feel like it's going to be great and we will have a live show so keep an eye out for details on that. Then Leanna and I are doing a year-long read-along of the Sword of Truth series by Terry Goodkind and this month the live show is going to be back over on Leanna's channel. We're going to be reading Temple of the Winds. This one is very out there. Uh, we haven't read it in a long time but from what we remember it's a trip so should be interesting. Stay tuned. Check out Leanna's channel for the live show of this. And then the final read-along book is for the read-along that Leanna and I are hosting on Chapter 3 Podcast where we're reading through all of the first law books by Joe Abercrombie this year. I tend to read the books the month before the podcast episode airs just so that we have time to record the episode. So in April I'm going to be reading Best Served Cold. This episode will be coming out in May. I may push this because I think the episode comes out later in May, so if I need to I could push reading this to early May depending on how the rest of my TBR goes, we'll see, but tentatively this is on my April TBR. Also for a podcast episode I'm going to be reading Empire of Silence by Christopher Riocchio. This is the first book in a space opera series that Liana has been raving about that I think I'm probably going to enjoy. I hope I do. The they, they sound like they'd be up my alley and we are planning to do an episode talking about this series in May. So if you want to follow along, maybe read the first book in the series. Then as I mentioned earlier, we have this week-long readathon, Tor.comathon, happening April 16th to the 22nd. I'm going to be traveling leading up to the readathon and through the first part of it, so I don't know exactly which books I'll get to or how many I'll get to. We'll see, but most of what I'm reading is novellas, so they should be pretty quick reads. I just want to tell you the things that are tentatively on my TBR for that readathon. If you haven't seen my announcement, video for that. I will link it up above where it'll give you all of the details, but it's a bingo board style readathon. So here is that bingo board and I will tell you some of the things that I may be reading. One that I'm definitely going to read is the group book. This is Remote Control by Nettie Okorafor. 
I hear that this is a little difficult to describe, but I generally enjoy Nettie Okorafor's writing. I'm excited to pick this one up, and we'll be discussing this in the live show for the readathon. This one meets a bunch of those prompts. It's got a person on the cover. It's from a Black author, an LGBT author. Uh, it's Afrofuturism. Like, it, it meets a whole bunch of the prompts. So I'm going to be reading the group book. And I guess I should say, I did get a couple of questions of what to do if you're going for a blackout and you have already read Remote Control and don't want to reread it. I would say if you want to read something else by Nnedi Okorafor instead, that could definitely count. If you've already read Remote Control and you need something else to put in that square, you could do that. I'm also hoping to read Siren Queen by Nevo. This is coming out in May and it sounds great. I've really enjoyed Nevo's work before. This sounds interesting. It's kind of like a fantasy horror novel set in a fantastical version of Golden Age of Hollywood following a Chinese American girl and there's like monsters. I don't know. It sounds interesting. Her writing is really beautiful so I want to read that. This meets prompts for reading a book by an Asian author, reading a standalone novel, and reading a book with a person on the cover. I am also hoping to finally read Binti the Night Masquerade. I have been sitting on the last book in this trilogy for so long and I really need to to just go ahead and finish it. I've enjoyed the first two volumes of it, so we're gonna make this happen. Even more Nettie Okorafor. Same author, so that covers a lot of the same prompts. I also am hoping to read Mapping the Interior by Stephen Graham Jones. This one meets the prompt of having horror elements and is also by an indigenous author. I've really enjoyed things I've read from Stephen Graham Jones in the past. This one is just a little novella. He writes literary horror and this sounds interesting. It says, this one delves into characters' conflicted feelings toward their ancestry, haunted as they are by the ghost of the father whose death severed their ties to the reservation. Definitely curious to read that. And then the last physical book before I get into some e-arcs that I have from Tor.com that I want to read is The Black Tides of Heaven by Neon Yang. Um, this is one of the old copies before they updated their name. These books are silk punk. I've heard really good things about them. I haven't read them yet. They've been on my TBR for a while and I would like to finally try the series. And this one meets the prompt for reading a book by an Asian author and reading a book by a trans or non-binary author, as well as something with magic in the world and probably some of the other prompts. Also on my list of possibilities for the readathon are some things that I have for review from NetGalley. I have A Mirror Amended by Alex E. Harrow. This is a fairy tale retelling, so it would meet that retelling prompt. I read the first novella in the series and really enjoyed it. These are doing different fairy tales. Had to change the battery, so if it looks different, that's why. But yeah, the first one was a Sleeping Beauty retelling. This one might be Snow White, but I'm not 100% certain. Either way, I'm looking forward to reading it. Then I have A Prayer for the Crown Shy by Becky Chambers. This is the second book in a novella duology that I really love. It's super hopeful sci-fi. It's from an LGBT author. I'm very excited for this one. It's been highly anticipated and I think I do have a physical arc on its way to me so I may get to read it that way which will be fun. Then for another one that could meet the horror prompt and has an animal on the cover although it's pretty creepy is What Moves the Dead by T. Kingfisher. This is a horror novella from an author that I've been meaning to read for a while and I believe this is a retelling of a short story by Edgar Allan Poe so I'm very intrigued excited to check this out. The final thing going on my possibility pile for Tor.comathon is January 15th by Rachel Swirsky. This just sounds super intriguing. It's coming out this summer. It's a sci-fi novel with the premise that Americans now all get a universal basic income payment and it follows different people and what they do on the day that they get that payment, like good and bad. It's just an interesting thought exercise so I'm curious to see what she's going to do with this. So those are all of the things that I may pick up for Tor.comathon. I have like a stack of other things that I haven't read from that imprint as well. So if I need to switch things up, I can. But I feel like that's pretty good for a week long readathon. That said, I can kind of fly through these pretty quickly. So I'm hoping to knock out quite a number of books on my TBR during that readathon. And I hope some of you guys are going to join me. I do have a few other books for review that I'm planning to read in April. One is Song Broken by Heather Osborne. This is a debut queer fantasy novel that came out from a small press. I think it published at the end of March so I'm a little late reading it but I'm excited to read it. It's from Forest Path Books so th thank you to them for sending me a copy. This sounded intriguing. It's about a woman who is a healer but she lives in a patriarchal society where only men are supposed to be healers and so she travels concealing her true identity. It sounds interesting and it's like can healer songs really work for a woman and I think there's a sapphic romance in here. I I'm not 100% sure but thank you to them for sending a copy. I'll be reading this one in April. 
Also for review is Worlds of Exile and Illusion by Ursula K. Le Guin. This is part of their Tour Essentials line where they do these nice editions of modern classics in sci-fi and fantasy. This is a bind up of three novels from the Hainish series, Rokanon's World, Planet of Exile, and City of Illusions. I've been wanting to read more Le Guin this year and this seemed like a great opportunity. So when they reached out to me, I was like, yes, please send it along. So I'm hoping to start diving into this in April. Then I have a couple of Yarks from NetGalley I'd like to get to this month. The first one is The Counselors by Jessica Goodman. I really loved Jessica Goodman's last YA kind of mystery thriller and this is her latest one. This one is about three best friends at an elite summer camp and dark secrets that lead to a body in the lake. So it's a mystery thriller, it's got murder, I'm excited to pick this one up. And then lastly for this month I've got Very Bad People by Kit Frick. This is a YA dark academia thriller which sounds really interesting. It's about a teen girl searching for answers about her mother's mysterious death at her new exclusive boarding school where there is a secret society she gets involved in and dangerous secrets. It, it, it's hitting all of the tropes that I like so I'm very interested in this. And then the last thing I'm gonna put on my TBR just because I really want to read it is Gallant by V.E. Schwab. My pre-order of this came in in March and I have been eyeing it ever since just because I feel like I'm gonna love this book. It's a YA gothic horror novel and it's got mixed media formatting. <sighs> I really want to read it. I hear it's a quick read so I'm gonna tr probably try to pick this up. So there you go. Those are all of the books that I am planning on reading in April. We will see how it goes. As always it's, you know, a lot of books to read but I feel like I, I do a decent job of getting through most of the books on my TBR so it'll be fine. I am really excited for Tor.comathon though to knock out a bunch of those novellas. It's gonna be so good. Talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know any of your thoughts or feelings on anything I talked about in this video. And if your question of the day, recommend to me some kind of short fiction that you love. This could be a novella, this could be a anthology of short stories or whatever. But if there's some short fiction that you are a huge fan of that you think worked really well, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, it does help if you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna see more. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.